The Legend of Zelda series is full of emotional, heroic, and otherwise dramatic moments. Today I want to talk about five of the saddest moments that we've experienced throughout the main Legend of Zelda series. Hello there fellow Legend of Zelda fans, I'm Nintera and I post Legend of Zelda videos every single Wednesday, so subscribe to me if you want to see when those get uploaded. Also, if you're seeing this video, it's probable that you might have seen Celtic's Five Saddest Moments video that he uploaded about two years ago, so I'm going to make sure that I don't use any of the moments that he talked about in his video. I don't want to be repetitive and discuss something that he's already talked about, and probably better than I will. This video is also going to be full of spoilers, so you've been warned. With that said, let's get into the video. Number 5. Mipha's Cutscenes. Breath of the Wild. Mipha is the Zora champion in Breath of the Wild, and 100% of the cutscenes we see with her break my heart. Mipha is so sweet and a very powerful healer, and she is very in love with Link. In one flashback, she explains her dream that when the Calamity Ganon is defeated, she and Link will be able to be close and spend time together like they did when they were children. She also created a Zora tunic for Link, symbolizing her desire to one day marry him. We also see that she is a great older sister and is happy to look after her younger brother, Sidon. In a flashback featuring Zelda, Mipha, and Sidon, Mipha starts to teach her brother how to swim up waterfalls because she knows that the time that she has left with her brother is short. She tells him that he may one day need to step up and protect their people as she knows there's a chance that she won't be coming back. We know though that her story did not end happily and she was killed by Water Blight Ganon inside Varuta. Still, a hundred years later, Sidon loves and looks up to his sister so much, and he only ever has good things to say about her. Number 4. Pamela and her father, Majora's Mask In Majora's Mask, there is a place called Ikana Valley which is full of monsters such as Gibdos. This is also where we meet Pamela, a young girl trapped inside her house and hiding a horrible secret in her basement. Going down there, we find that Pamela's father has been transformed into some horrific combination of human and Gibdo. When Link approaches the monster, she jumps in between them and begs Link to leave and forget what he saw. Her father is lost and confused, and while he clearly remembers Pamela, he is fighting the monstrous nature that is slowly taking him over. Pamela has been here looking after her father for who knows how long, and she's just a young girl. She shouldn't have to have this burden hanging over her. Link is able to help her father though by playing the Song of Healing and turning him back into a human. Pamela is so relieved and immediately runs to hug her father for the first time in so long. He is clearly confused and doesn't understand what he was doing, but she assures him that he was just having a nightmare and everything is fine now. Pamela has been in this house alone and scared, and seeing her and her father embrace is one of the most emotional moments in an already emotional game. Number 3. The Windfish Wakes Up – Link's Awakening Link's Awakening takes place on the island of Koholint, and Link is told that he must collect eight instruments in order to awaken a being known as the Windfish to save the island. Link travels all over the island collecting instruments and getting to know the inhabitants, especially Marin, who can often be found singing in Mabe Village. Before Link obtains the sixth instrument, he comes across a tablet on the wall which informs him that the entire island is an illusion, and waking the windfish will cause it to disappear. Link continues on his journey though at the advice of the owl and collects the rest of the instruments. Once all the instruments have been gathered, Link makes his way to the windfish where it is confirmed that the island is all a dream. The windfish says that all dreams must come to an end, but Link's memory of the island makes it real. Link plays the Song of Awakening on his instruments, and the Windfish's slumber is over. We watch as the island and characters that we have come to know and love dissipate from existence, and Link is once again left floating in the ocean with nothing else in sight. This game may be one of the only forms of media that has ever done the it was all a dream trope well, but that doesn't make watching our new friends disappear any less heartbreaking. Number 2 Midna's Goodbye, Twilight Princess At the end of Twilight Princess, Midna must return to her people as light and shadow cannot mix. She comments that as long as the Mirror of Twilight exists, she and Link could meet again, and she sheds a tear knowing that that shouldn't be possible. Midna tells Link that she'll see him later, before destroying the Mirror of Twilight and returning to the Twilight Realm while Link and Zelda look on in shock. 
They are unable to stop her though, and Midna leaves the world of light forever. Through Twilight Princess, we have seen Midna grow from being very selfish and just using Link for her own agenda to genuinely caring about Link and looking out for him. She starts off using Link to get her revenge on Zant, but by the end she's throwing herself into danger to protect Link and Zelda. Over the course of Twilight Princess, Midna arguably grows more than any other companion in the Legend of Zelda series and becomes a true friend to both Link and Zelda. It is devastating to hear her realize what she must do to protect the Light World from any future invasions by the Twilight, and to see the reactions of Link and Zelda as she goes. Number 1. Zelda Goes to Sleep, Skyward Sword Maybe this moment isn't as tragic as some of the other moments we've talked about, but the way Link runs to Zelda as she's sealing herself and bangs on the crystal, almost begging her not to go. Well, let's just say that it gets me every time. We've spent the whole game seeing how close Link and Zelda are and how much they love each other both as friends and probably more than friends too. We've played the whole game as Link and his entire goal up till this point was just to reach Zelda. And when he finally does, they only get minutes together before she's out of reach again. And we also get a call back to the beginning of the game when Zelda tells Link that this time, he'll have to be the one to wake her up. The art style of this game also allows Link to be so expressive and you can feel the pain on his face as he's forced to say goodbye to his best friend once again. So now that we're all sufficiently bummed out, what did you think of my list? Did you agree with any of my picks? Do you think that I missed any? Well, just in case you do think I missed any, go check out Zeltic's video because he also did a top five saddest Zelda moments video and the moment that you're thinking of might be on that one. But let me know your opinions on this topic in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Also, maybe leave me a like on this video if you wanna support what I'm doing here. And if you wanna see new Legend of Zelda content from me every single Wednesday, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you're notified when those videos get uploaded. Oh, and if you're into D&D, I play on a live stream every single Friday on Twitch, so I'll have the links about all of that down in this description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.